Hi there, welcome back to our tutorial series on YouTube brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam app. I believe by now we've all downloaded our apps and if you are yet to do that, please hurry up and do that now. So for our today's class, the topic is Holiness and Divine Call. Holiness and Divine Call. Holiness simply means being set apart. Let's take that down. Holiness means to be set apart. It means living a life reserved to give glory to God. And when God calls a man, he helps him live a holy life. You need God to help you be holy. So when God calls man or when God calls men, he helps them live holy lives. In this class, we'll examine instances of individuals that God called in the Bible, starting with Isaiah. In Isaiah chapter 6, we see that Isaiah was the son of Amos. And God called him in the year King Uzziah died. God called him in the year Uzziah, King of Judah, died. Uzziah saw God seated on a throne, lifted high, high and lifted. So there I saw God seated on a throne high and lifted and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above the throne stood seraphim. Seraphim are six winged angels. And according to Isaiah's account, two of the wings covered their faces, two of the wings covered their feet, and, and the last two were for flight. The seraphim were also worshipping God, singing, and their voices shook the doorpost of the temple, filling the temple with smoke. Isaiah trembled, thinking he was going to die. He felt he was of unclean lips, and he dwelt among people with unclean lips, yet he had seen the Lord of hosts. But one of the seraphim flew to him and touched his lips with a piece of burning coal cleansing his lips and taking away his iniquity. So as I heard God asking, they heard the voice of the Lord asking, whom shall we send? Who will go for us? And he presented himself. He said to God, here I am, send me. And God sent him to tell the people of Israel to keep hearing, but they would not understand. They should keep saying, but they would not perceive. He was to make their hearts dull and their ears heavy. Because God wanted them destroyed. God told Isaiah to do this until the land was desolate, it was without inhabitants, and it was laid waste. That's Isaiah's account of when God called him. And that person that God called was Ezekiel. Recorded in Ezekiel chapter 2 and 3. Ezekiel was the son of Buzi. And God called him while he was in captivity. He saw a whirlwind coming from the north, and it was a great cloud of raging fire. Within the fire were four creatures, and the four creatures had four faces and four wings. The faces were the face of a man, the face of a lion, the face of an ox, and the face of an eagle. They had four faces and four wings. Their wings touched one another, and they had the hands of a man under their wings. 
Also, they didn't go where they wanted. Instead, they went straight as the Spirit led them. He also noticed wheels beside the living creatures. And these wheels moved whenever the creatures moved. He saw the firmament above the heads of the living creatures, and it was like the color of an awesome crystal. He also saw the likeness of a throne made with sapphire stones above the firmament, and there was a likeness of a man on the throne, and the man appeared to be covered in fire. Ezekiel fell on his face when he saw it, for it was the appearance of the glory of God. And God said to him, Son of man, stand on your feet and I will speak to you. Immediately the Spirit entered him and he heard God speaking to him. God sent Ezekiel to Israel, a rebellious nation. They and their fathers had transgressed against God. They were stubborn and impudent, but God was sending Ezekiel to them regardless. And God asked him not to be afraid of the Israelites or of their words. He was to speak God's words to them. God also asked him not to be rebellious like the Israelites, but to eat what was given to him. And when Ezekiel looked up, a hand was stretched to him with a scroll. And when the hand spread the scroll, there were writings both on the inside and the outside, writings of lamentations. Writings of lamentations and mourning. God asked Ezekiel to eat the scroll, and he did, and it tasted like honey. Thus, God strengthened Ezekiel against the Israelites because he knew that they would not listen to him. Another person that God called was Jeremiah. In Jeremiah chapter 1. Jeremiah was the son of Hilkiah. And the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah during the reign of Josiah and his sons. Jehoiakim and Zedekiah. So Jeremiah was the son of Hilkiah, and the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah during the days of Josiah and his sons, Jehoiakim and Zedekiah, as kings of Judah. God told Jeremiah that before he was formed in the womb, God knew him, and before he was born, God had already sanctified and ordained him a prophet. God sanctified and ordained Jeremiah a prophet before he was born. Before he was born. But Jeremiah told God that he was a youth and he could not speak. God touched his mouth and told him to say whatever he had commanded him to say. He also asked Jeremiah not to be afraid, for God to be with him, and God had set him over nations and kingdoms. Now, from these examples, we see that it is only God that can help us live holy lives. All we have to do is surrender to his will and follow his guidance. Now, that's it for holiness and divine call. We've looked at the call of Isaiah, the call of Ezekiel, and the call of Jeremiah. We always see that a common factor between the, the call of these three people is that God helped them. God did not just call them. He called them and he helped them answer his call. Before we look at past questions that have been asked on this topic from the O3 Schools Jam app. Please do not forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss new updates. Now, here's a question. Jeremiah was not anxious to accept God's call to become a prophet because A, it was a hazardous profession. B, he knew that the people would not listen to him. C, he needed to know God more. D, he was too young and inexperienced. He was not anxious because he felt he was young. He was a youth. D, he was too young and inexperienced. Another question says, the scroll given to Ezekiel to eat at his call contained 
A, both praises and condemnation. B, words of lamentation and mourning. C, prescription for temple worship. D, the expected type of sacrifice. It contained words of lamentations and mourning. The scroll stretched out to Ezekiel that God asked him to eat contained words of lamentation and mourning. That would be option B. Son of man, stand upon your feet and I will speak with you. The statement above was made during the call of Isaiah, Hosea, Samuel, Ezekiel. It was made during the call of Ezekiel. When Ezekiel realized that the likeness or the appearance he was seeing was the glory of God, he fell on his feet and God asked him to stand on his feet. So this statement was made during the call of Ezekiel, option D. Then we also have Isaiah teaches that the Lord wants his people to demonstrate holiness by A, observing religious festivals, B, offering more sacrifices, C, doing justice and not evil, D, honoring their father and mother, C, doing justice and not evil. So do well to download the O3Schools Jam app for more questions.